Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to this spot. This might just be my new filming spot because I'm sure it looks better than a brick wall and also it's more comfortable. Today's video is going to be about the different types of bonding methods to bond your chinchillas. So I personally think that it's better if chinchillas live in pairs or groups. I know a lot of people say that they can live alone and I'm sure there are some chinchillas who are happy alone. It's just, in my personal experience, they just seem happier with a friend and I see them cuddling all the time. So, like, if they've got more than one spot to sleep and yet they still choose to cuddle, you know, and I just think that they are social animals, so, but that's my opinion. In today's video I'm going to tell you about five different types of bonding methods. Some people might not agree with all of these types of bonding methods, but I'm just going to tell you about them and then it's up to you to decide what you want to do when bonding your chinchillas. The five different types of methods I'm going to be telling you about is the cage side-by-side -side method, the cage within a cage method, the smush method, the car ride method and the playtime introduction method. So firstly, the cage side by side method. And all this entails is that you have your two chinchilla cages with a chinchilla in each and you put them next to each other. So for the first time you put them next to each other, you could put them like 20 centimeters away so that they can smell each other and see each other but they can't interact with each other. Then after a few weeks you can move them like 10 centimeters next to each other. And then maybe eventually you can go so that the cages are almost touching but not quite touching just in case that they can try and bite each other through the bars. Once the cages have been next to each other for a while and you see that there is no aggression or anything then what you could also do is try and swap the chinchillas in their cages. You can put the one in the other one's cage and swap it like that. This might stress your chinchilla out a bit. And after you've tried this cage side by side method for quite a while, quite a number of weeks, you can try and introduce it, them during a playtime and see how that goes. And if that goes well, then you can introduce both of them into one of the cages. Just make sure that the cage is completely cleaned, new bedding, try and you know wipe the cage down so it doesn't smell of any one of the chinchillas. And also you could maybe rearrange the cage just a little so that when you introduce both chinchillas you don't have one that is territorial over it you know and aggressive to the other one. The next method is the cage within a cage method. So what you're going to need for this is your one big cage and then one smaller cage and what you're going to do is put the most dominant chinchilla in the smaller cage and then put that smaller cage in the bigger cage. Just remember when doing this to put something on top of the smaller cage so that if the other chinchilla jumps on top of the smaller cage that the chinchilla inside the small cage can't bite its toes you know through there just maybe put like a wooden ledge or something on top of it and what you're going to do is keep the chinchilla in the small cage within the bigger cage for a number of hours and see how that goes you can also try to put the food bowl of the chinchilla in the big cage in front of the smaller cage so they have to kind of be close to each other when and interact kind of while this is going on but beware this is also a thing they could potentially fight and bite each other through the cage but there's the second method the third method is the smush method and this is when you put the chinchillas in maybe a little travel carrier or something but it has to be like so small that they have to be smushed next to each other and the reason for that is so that it doesn't give them any space to really fight in that but fights can still occur so this is probably not something for a new chinchilla owner with the smoosh method you can't do it for very long because chinchillas can overheat quite quickly and if they are you know right next to each other and it's not very cold they could overheat quite quickly the next method is the car ride method. So this is going to be where you put your chinchillas in a travel carrier and then take them for a drive. So the way this is supposed to work is that the car ride is going to stress them out 
and then they will seek comfort with each other so you know that's how that would work and this is the method that I have done with Star and Pepper and with Kylo and the two other chinchillas and it's not like I did this purposefully you know to try and do this bonding method it's just the way it happened like we had to drive to another city to get Star and Pepper and we had to drive to another town to get Kylo's two friends so that's just how it ended up happening and with this method when I've used it like I said with Kylo and with Star and Pepper it worked out really well I don't know if that's just because you know Kylo's a really chilled chinchilla so he's fine with it and then also Star and Pepper were really young as well so they kind of bonded immediately there was no signs of aggression at all when we put them together initially like even before the car ride so just keep that in mind also you can't do this just by yourself you'll need someone else in the car just in case they do start fighting and then you need to separate them and you can do the car ride for maybe about half an hour also after this when you get home you can try put them in a smallish cage together if you have one and see how that goes and then if it's okay then you can put them in their final big cage or you can try and put them in their final big cage and see how it goes um, just make sure that cage is clean like I've said with the other methods you know make it nice and clean so that it's not one chinchilla is territorial over the other method also you could try doing the cage side by side, side method before you do this car ride method the next method is the playtime method and this is the method that most people like to use because they consider it to be the least stressful method and therefore you know it's kinder on the animals but essentially you're going to have to have to remember that by stressing them out it's kind of um, the foster way to do it you know if you want to do the very slow method that you know that's perfectly fine I'm just telling you about all these methods and it's up to you to decide which you want and the playtime method is essentially just when you know the chinchillas have their own cage but then during playtime you know when you let them out to run around in a chinchilla proof room you know no wires or anything then you know they can interact that way and slowly they can introduce each other you may want to put like a sand bath in their room so then they you know chinchillas will always go to the sand baths first so they could interact that way or you could put out some wooden toys in that that's also a good idea try not to put anything like houses little you know wooden houses in that so they hide in it because you need them to interact and you'll start off doing short amounts of time maybe five to ten minutes at first and then you can increase it as you see slight progress with this method and with any of the methods it's going to be common if you see fur flying everywhere and see a bit of you know fighting and that kind of signs of aggression sometimes the one will spray urine onto the other one with the fur flying in that as you might know a chinchilla's defense mechanism is to do a fur slip where they kind of release some fur to get away from predators so that is something that can happen quite common during bonding sessions and you don't have to worry too much about that it doesn't hurt the chinchilla to do it and it's not like it's going to affect them so much you know they've got so much fur a little fur slip won't do too much harm there is signs of fighting in that what you can do you just you kind of don't separate them the instant it starts you can let it go for a few seconds and then if you see that you know one is going to be seriously injured then obviously separate them but you are going to have to let them sort out their differences and also kind of sort out the dominance and the ranking so those are the five methods and you know choose which one you think will, will work for your chinchilla and it also depends on the personality of your chinchilla for example Star is the most dominant and aggressive chinchilla and while she is bonded to Kylo we absolutely cannot bond her with anyone else also I've got Rosie and Daisy and I've been trying to bond them with um, bubbles and it's been rough I've tried the um, playtime method and it's not working the greatest um, then I've also 
put Bubbles in the cage with um, Rosie and Daisy and essentially what happens is Bubbles will pick a, pick a spot and then she'll kind of defend herself in that spot. Also their cages have always been next to each other so that's a slow process. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really look like they want to be friends even but I'll let you know how that goes. So thank you everyone for watching, I hope you found this useful and hopefully you can be successful in bonding your chinchillas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!